Olivia Newton-John, and her grandfather, Max Born. Olivia Newton-John, says Stefan, is the granddaughter of Max Born, the great Jewish-born German physicist. Olivia Newton-John, an English-Australian entertainment polymath. Max Born, a Jewish-born German physicist. Hedwig, Hetty, Martha, Nierenberg, Born, Max Born's wife. Irene Born, a daughter of Max Born, the mother of Olivia Newton-John. Albert Einstein and Max Born, says Stefan, were very close friends and colleagues, yet, they were scientific antagonists. Max Born gave name to quantum mechanics. In addition, Max Born introduced the probabilistic mathematical method in quantum mechanics, making of quantum mechanics the probabilistic quantum mechanics. Einstein never accepted the probabilistic quantum mechanics as the final physics of the microworld. This escalated into Bohr-Einstein controversy, debate, which is still a hot topic in contemporary physics. Probabilistic quantum physics, says Stefan, has had a spectacular success in the research of the microworld. Yet, Einstein, would say, the more success the quantum theory has, the sillier it looks. Einstein and Born, says Stefan, had had a long-term correspondence addressing the fundamental problems in physics and the probabilistic quantum mechanics, in particular. This correspondence, I see, as a true scientific battlefield of two great minds. It was published as a book entitled, The Born-Einstein, Letters, Correspondence Between Albert Einstein and Max and Hedwig Born, from 1916 to 1955, with commentaries by Max Born. Max Born, gracefully, never failed to emphasize Einstein's superior intellect compared to his own. Einstein had been convinced that the microworld can be described with a non-probabilistic physics, but he, himself, could have not offered any useful idea in that direction, in spite of the fact that he had thought of the quantum world, microworld, as he would say, much more than he had thought of the relativistic world, large-scale structures. Hedwig Born. Says Stefan, Olivia's grandmother, as a layperson, seems to be on Einstein's side in the Born Einstein debate. Apparently, the term probabilistic didn't go well in Hedda's mind. Sometimes, she would add a few words of her own, as an addendum, in her husband's letter to Einstein. The Devil in Einstein. As seen by Hedy Born, Olivia's grandmother. Albert Einstein in San Diego, December 31, 1930. Albert Einstein. Balboa Park, San Diego, USA. December 31, 1930. La Jolla is a part of San Diego, says Stefan. You can walk, so to speak, from La Jolla to Balboa Park, San Diego. Here is what Hedy Bourne, Olivia's grandmother, writes on February 22, 1931, to Einstein, who was in San Diego on December 31, 1930. I am always very amused, says Hetty, to Einstein, to see and hear you, in the weekly newsreel, being presented with a floral float, containing lovely sea nymphs in San Diego, and that sort of things. In the same way, as Gretchen, sends the devil in Faust. So he makes people sense in you. Well, just the Einstein. For none of them will ever be able to really know you. However thoroughly. They may have studied the theory of relativity. The Devil in Dr. Falstaff, an immortal physicist. Speaking of the Devil in Somebody, says Stefan, there are, in general, two outcomes, either the people make use of that feature to devilishly fight devil, or the people become devil themselves. Einstein had been a fierce fighter against devil throughout his life. Immortal Dr. Falstaff, Stefan's fiction fantasy, managed to expel the devil, Lucifer, from our universe, Atlantis Universe, the universe number three, on February 11th. 
2001, into the universe number 11, there are 22 sibling universes in total. Our universe is now Lucifer free. It is not, however, that simple as it looks like. There are many people in our universe who sympathize and empathize with Lucifer. Shall all those evil human diseases ever be eradicated, such as cancer? It is possible, it seems to me, due to the advancement in genomic medicine, pharmacogenomics, and similar disciplines. Olivia Newton-John, says Stefan, is the brave woman, fighting her cancer with dignity, grace, and love. Svetlana, died from breast cancer. I had met her in the early 1972, in Belgrade, Serbia, Yugoslavia, and the banks of the Ohio, was a very popular song. I would sing it on my guitar. In the song, she killed him because of his denial to take her for his bride. Inspired by the song, Svetlana would warn me of her killing me if I was not true to her. Max Born, says Stefan, was doctoral advisor to Maria Gepert Mayer and Victor Frederick Weisskopf, among several other great physicists. Victor Frederick Weisskopf, Maria Gepert Mayer, Max Born, Göttingen, Germany, 1931. Maria Gepert Mayer won Nobel Prize in Physics in 1963, second woman to win Nobel Prize in Physics, first being Maurice Klodowska Curie in 1903. Maria Gepert Mayer, says Stefan, had worked in the physics department of the University of California, San Diego. The department is now named after her. I was doing research in the department, as well, in the mid-1980s, together with Keith A. Bruckner, founding member of the department, in the initial thermonuclear fusion physics. Victor Frederick Weisskopf was scientific advisor for the Stefan University from its establishment, in 1989, up to 2002. Here, we see Gustav Born the brother of Olivia's mother Irene. Irene translated the Born-Einstein letters from German into English. Gustav Born talks about Victor Frederick Weisskopf. I hope, says Stefan, that the great Max Born died January 5th. 1970, has a chance to hear in private the angelic voice of his granddaughter as she sings the banks of the Ohio before it was released in 1971.